I grew up pretty lucky. No impediments, no discrimination against me. Um, but if I had been my grandparents, they were born in Russia, Jewish, they were persecuted. And why should I have no impediments in my life when my grandparents um, faced all these impediments? My mom, she was a receptionist, and you know, I'd see how people treated her and how she treated others. And she treated everyone with respect, didn't matter who they were. Um, she was always friendly, polite, and there were some people who were very dismissive of her. And I thought, you shouldn't ever treat anyone that way. And everyone is someone's mom or dad or son or daughter. And it made me want to change how people treat one another. And it also made me aware of how, you know, how I should treat others. When I came to Berkeley, I was, uh, I was deeply in debt. Um, I uh, had to borrow money for my graduate school, and I had always wanted to be a lawyer, and I couldn't afford to go to any of the law schools. And while I was there, I met a lot of other people who were in the same situation. It creates a bond and also a sense of gratitude. To have a community of people who care more about one another than about themselves, it was just rare and, and um, and, and inspiring. From the time I left the gates here at Berkeley, I've had a different life, a different ethic, a different vision for who I could be. I've been able to work with the President of the United States, clerk at the Supreme Court, be a, a U.S. ambassador and represent us overseas, to argue cases in the Supreme Court on behalf of those who are underserved, and to work with an amazing group of people in all sorts of different disciplines, including education, you know, being on the Fulbright board and, and chairing the Cal State University board, getting the chance to dig in on issues that I cared about with people who have devoted their lives to it, whether it was homelessness or foster youth, victims of domestic violence, helping people who are LGBTQ fight Don't Ask, Don't Tell so that they could serve their country. So, you know, I'm just doing what I think citizens do, you know, you look after each other, you know. The regrets I had in life were never things that I had done wrong. They were the acts I hadn't done, the, the little courtesies and uh, kindnesses that change people's day and can sometimes change their life. I, I think I've organized my life in a way that allows me to have room every day to help somebody. And I don't know who that person's going to be or what the issue's going to be, but if you leave just a little bit of give in your day, just being a little helpful to people and sort of taking in their situation and trying to put yourself in their place and help them, um, it becomes almost, almost a habit. And uh, it's, it's enriched my life and hopefully it's made other people's lives better too. Someone much wiser than me said, you make a, a living from what you earn, but you make a life from what you give. And I found that by giving to others, not only did I get more satisfaction in my life, but it opens doors that you never imagined.